Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I got this the other, I got this for like four or five days ago, little sample. This is Vanish Foundation from Hourglass in the color Shell. Is that not the cutest little guy right there? I thought it was really cute. Okay, so I used the um, Fenty, I've been loving that Fenty um, primer. That I've really been liking that. Anyway, this is the foundation here. Let's go ahead and try this out. See how it goes. I'm not supposed to have to use like much of this at all. I'm gonna start with a tiny, tiny bit. That one pump will do your whole face? I don't know. Actually, you know, this does go far. It really does. Now, I don't know. It's hard to tell because I have this little sample. I feel like I'm using a lot, but really I'm not. I'm not exactly sure how much one pump is. Well, you know, when you're doing videos like this, you never know when something's going to go like wrong or just not come out right. Especially when you're doing a first impressions because I have not even swatched this foundation in the stuff. I have some on this brush though. I like how this brush blends when it's see it I need to clean it <laughs> I need to clean it I don't know how I'm feeling about this foundation but we'll see how it wears I don't know what do you guys think let me see I'm gonna put just a little bit and try to blend it with a sponge when I when you guys see me taking some out of there I'm really taking ever like slightly slightly tiny bit there we go I don't know I'm just it's because of the color and I feel like I'm just not getting it blended real well because of that when you use a foundation that's a little too dark for you you have to be so careful to blend it like perfectly because otherwise you're going to end up with spots on your face that are darker and lighter than the others. There we go. That's much better. That was the whole issue. And the sponge is really helping that. And the reason why the sponge is helping that is because the sponge actually will disperse the product in a lot thinner um, and larger area. It really helps. Some foundations just work better with sponges and some better with uh with a brush i prefer most foundations with a brush but you know it's it just really it depends all right i got a new this is not new to me i got the smashbox um studio skin flawless 24 hour concealer anti-crease this is supposed to be very hydrating and I tried this in the store just because I, I like the look of a concealer. Did I say foundation? I like the look of a concealer, but I don't like the heaviness of it. And this is a very light form. It's very thin. It's almost like how the, um, let me grab a mirror so I can kind of show you guys it's almost like how the a tree wind is from maybelline but not exactly it's almost as thin as that i've been trying to not use this brush because i hate using stuff that's discontinued and you guys ask me this is the um that g6 i think g38 i'm sorry this is the g38 from morphe and they discontinued it but Look at how pretty. I mean, it just, it blends out so nicely. And it doesn't add any kind of weight to my under eyes. Now, the coverage is not great. I don't have a lot of dark circles. I use, when I use a concealer, like now I'm really using this because that foundation was a little too dark for me. And I'm wanting to really bring some light back in here. So that's why. But this is... It's a very light um, light concealer. And it's really... I don't know about crease proof though. All Any product's going to crease. If you, know, if you don't put it on properly and shear it out the right way. This one, I, you know, I think a lot of them say crease proof. Because if you shear them out, they really... I'm going to... 
try to highlight my face a little bit with this just a tad bit more I'm gonna kind of lighten this up this foundation is just to me feeling a little dark I mean I don't know if it's so much the the tint of it there we go or the um that's much better see how much just highlighting your face a tiny bit it almost like it takes yours off of you. Now, I like to take my Just Damp sponge. I've been loving this thing. People talk bad about it. People talk good about it. You know, I think it's a lot to do with the whole bullshit that happened with um, Nikki Tutorials and, and all that. It was it a sponsorship? Was it not? I actually had this way before that. The Taylor... I think it was tested this out on her channel. I think it was her. She did a haul video on those products. The um, um, the Junico products. I, I don't know if she like got sent them in PR or what it was, but she had a, she had a bunch of them. Anyway, um, if you guys watch my Fenty video, I'm still loving this. This is that. This is the um, the lavender one, and I've really been liking to just ever so lightly kind of almost almost highlight my face with it now I'm putting a little of this in here this foundation did kind of darken me up a little bit which I mean hey I could use probably some sun but I'm not a I'm not a tan type person. Even when I was younger, I was on a swim team. I never really did the whole sun thing. There we go. I just like the um, I like the brightness that I get from this powder, and I like the fact I don't like have to go heavy with it at all. Um, people talk about the smell. I've heard many people say it smells like vanilla. To me. I could see where it, it would remind them of vanilla. It's like, for some reason, it, it reminds me of a woman's perfume. Like, uh, somebody that's had perfume on all day. You know, but a light, powdery, almost kind of citrusy, like a bergamot kind of smell. Um, not a musk. I hate musk. God, I hate musk. But it's hard to, it's hard to place that smell. Now, I got a really stinking pretty... Um, Bobby Brown bronzer. This is in the cut. It's in number ten. Tell you ride illuminating bronzing powder. Now, I have been liking this. I like this. There it is. There. It's very. It's not. It doesn't come across on here, but it is very mauve kind of red. It pulls very tawny kind of. I don't even know how you'd. you'd describe this color. It's like a dark mauve, basically. It really pulls like that. And you've got to be careful with this, especially if you're as fair-skinned as I am. But what I do is I just take my... This is my Marc Jacobs. And see how I just pat it on there? And I'll even kind of pat it on the back of my hand. You know, just to make sure I don't want a super lot of it on there. There we go. But... It just really, and it's good with this because, there we go. See how it brings kind of a, let me grab it. Actually, this is so dark, I am able to kind of bring this in. But see, it just brings like kind of a naturalness to my face. Because I have a lot of red tones in my face. There we go. A lot of red tones in my face. Now, it I know it looks a little blotchy right now. For some reason, it's not. I don't know. I don't know if it's this. Maybe this is, there we go. It's just not blending very well on top of that foundation. I didn't really set that foundation real well. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use my powder brush and just kind of. I just kind of patted it in there, just to. There we go. Kind of even that 
out. It's showing up very blotchy on, on here. I don't know why. There we go. Once I get everything buffed in and everything, I think it'll be fine. But I like it because I don't, I don't have to use a blush with this because it gives me, there's a spot that like is not holding color right there for some reason. Oh, there we go. Now you can always go back and lighten in a little bit. Now keep in mind, this is, this is your bronzer. So you just kind of bring some light. Now, when I use this, I always make sure to, you know, pat the powder into it because you can even, you see, I'm not really putting any more product on it, but there's still a little powder in it. There we go. Now, as far as, um, I do still like to do a little bit of contouring, not like a ton, but I like to make sure I rearranged all my drawers last night and I misplaced everything. Isn't that lovely? Oh, here it is. I'm going to grab this here. This is actually, um, what is this color anyway? It's a Tarte Double Duty Contour Highlight Palette. Um, this is the, if you guys have seen me, don't be afraid to dazzle. I think it was like the Twinkling set or what was it called? It had a name, but it's not on here for some, some odd reason. But I like to use this just to... Just to bring a little, because see how it's a nice, cool toned kind of color. I'm not using a super, oh, I just hit pan on that guy. I thought I saw it sticking through. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to kind of, this is an angle brush. This is the Kylie 5, number 5. I almost said 15. I've been putting a 1 in front of everything today. And I'm just going to use this just to bring a little shape into my face. Now, if you're trying to thin your face out, you want to kind of bring, like, and soften it. I like to start up in here, right at my hairline, and kind of work it down, and work right into the corner of my mouth. See, right in there like that. And that will pull, see how that pulls that cheek in. I like to use the corner of this. There we go. Now whatever's left, I'll just kind of like, kind of just lightly on the sides of my nose. I don't really worry about it. My nose is a little crooked. That's why I do the sides the way I do. Like that, there we go. And then I have such a big forehead. I like to go right in these corners and right across the top, just to kind of smooth that out. There we go. Now, once I have everything pretty much off of here, that's when I go in and I just buff it. I will go ahead and buff that color in. See how it softens that out. Now, if you feel like you're just not able to really get that softened in, then you can go and grab your um, puff. You can even grab more powder on this, which I'm going to because I'm going to cut this. No, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that nice and soft today. But I am going to go ahead and buff that in. There we go. See that? I like that kind of almost like I got like I was out in the sun. Not a sunburn, but not a suntan kind of kind of look. I like that. And I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier powder. I think this was Teresa's dead that used this. I'm not sure. If you guys remember who it was that I picked this up from using this, let me know because I can't remember. This is the Laura Mercier, the pressed translucent powder. And I'm grabbing that with, this is that Luxie um, 734 airbrush powder brush. Now I go ahead and I'm, I'm really, I want it in there. And the reason why I'm hitting it off so hard is because I'm going to buff with it. When you buff with a, with it, you want it up into that brush. You don't want it 
you don't want it like at the surface. You want it like down in the bristles. So as you're buffing, you're slowly adding some product. You don't want to cake this product on. If you cake this product on, then you would look very, your powder would look very heavy. There we go. And that's where I say, don't worry so much about making sure that it's, you know, soft and not real harsh edges because you're going to you go back in and buff if you do it this way. There we go. I love doing it that way. Now, um, I did find this guy. I don't think I've used, I, I think I talked about the other one on the other video, but this has the pen on one side and the retractable pencil on the other. This is the new, this is the one I thought was new and it wasn't. It is the um, Urban Decay Brow Blade Waterproof Pencil and Ink Stain. Now, let me grab the other one so I can show you. It is pretty much, sorry guys, I'm right, like, it is pretty much the same pen. My spoolie part, that drives me nuts. This is a spoolie. I like it because this one has a spoolie. The only thing I don't like about that one is because it's a dual-ended, it doesn't have a spoolie. And I really love this. Is a nice stiff one. Spoolie. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and brush those up, and I'll take the pencil, and I'm going to grab a mirror so I can try to get a little better about that using a handheld mirror so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I use my pinky to rest on my, on my face and just kind of go in and draw some lines. Now, if I want more of a natural look, which that's what I'm doing today, I don't do any lines this way, unless I'm really wanting to fill something in. But today, we're not going to do any of those. Now, as you get out, you want to smaller and angle them more this way. So here, you're going this way, and as you go, you're angling. So you want to get that, that like it's been kind of brushed over kind of look. Here's where you want your brows to look like they're standing a little better. And you want to make sure right across the bottom that you're not going to the same spot. If you go to the same spot, you're going to start having a line. You want that still to look a little, a little messy. Now over here, you can go this way. But towards the front of the brows, you want to stay, stay going more vertical. And once you get over in here, you're going more horizontal. But you're still kind of work it that way. You see that looks so much more natural. I'm going to do my other one. I'll be right back. There we go. And if you feel like you're having a hard time really getting a hair-like stroke, you can take your, how am I going to show you here? Take your pencil and you want to set it right here. Not real hard, but you want to pick a point and then just flick. And I just hold it here and flick. Hold it here and flick and see you will get more see how I'm just I'm letting it just run off the skin and you see the nice natural now if you feel like say you get one too long here let's do one a little too long see how that one's sticking up I'm gonna go and take your spoolie this spoolie is going to drive me nuts. I'm going to glue it into that end, I swear. Take your spoolie and you want to go kind of brush it up. And just at the very tip, kind of brush it over. There you go. See? That took that right out. There we go. Now, I personally like the, um, the pencil end. Now, does this one? I don't remember... And it goes back in. What is with them making these new things that aren't going in? They drive me nuts. Now, the pencil, the pen side. This is in taupe, by the way. Now, this is the pen side. I'm going to start out here because these tend to be a little more aggressive. I'm just going to... Here, let's show it here on my hand real quick. Oh, okay. There we go. You get some nice soft strokes with that. I'm going to come in here and just add a few. Oh, that is pretty... Now, if I was doing more of a structured brow, I think I would like this a little more. But see where I added those in? 
just going to add some in on each each side. It's hard being right-handed and doing your left eye. Here we go. And being blind is a bat. Well, bats aren't really blind, so I shouldn't say that. And being blind and not being able to get close enough to see. Here we go. I'm going to do a couple wispies up here. There we go. And I like doing it in the tail because you can really get a darker point in there. There we go. You can really see where I added these in here. See, you can really see where that added some nice color there. And as always, if you feel like you've kind of messed it up a little bit, you can go back. Is there something in there? I felt like there was something in here. Probably just a little instruction. I was just curious if they gave you some kind of, no, some kind of, I don't know where they put it, but some kind of uh, spoolie. But if you feel like you just don't have it right, you can just, just go ahead and hit it with the spoolie, blend it out, and then go back and draw some, some little wispies in if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and spray Somebody asked me about the Morphe spray. Now, the Morphe spray is, what is this, 2.8 ounces. And, like, this guy here, well, I can't see this one. This lasts forever. Um, I don't have another one in front of me. Oh, here we go. Let's see. We got 3.4 ounces. This lasts me the amount of about five of these cans. Now... Honestly, I haven't really, I haven't decided if it really does anything for longevity of your makeup, but I can tell you I like how it melds everything together because you can really do a light mist and see it just really makes that powder just blend into everything. Now, anytime you're using a setting tray, you want to make sure your face is nice and dry before you put anything on it. Now, if you're going from like a powder to a cream back and forth kind of thing, you can kind of use a setting spray in between. It's kind of a no-no and you really don't want to do that, but if you have to, you have to. You know, there's not really rules in makeup, honestly. Now, once you've sprayed and it's t a tiny bit damp and you want to kind of, I like to kind of take whatever's left on my brush and just kind of sharpen that up. I wear my hair down. So it, this really just kind of gives a shadow in there. But now I usually wait till the end to give you my uh, opinion. But I mean, you could see the foundation. It's not settling. It's not really settling in anything. It's looking very nice. Granted, I just put it on. But I don't see where. I think it's $54. I don't see it. I don't see where it's worth really fifty fifty four dollars. It just to me, I can't do it. Can't do it. You know, I just that's way too much. That's way too much for my pocket. You know, I I made a really nice look with one of these um, palettes, and I don't think I can ever do it again. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just aggravate myself with that. If you guys saw the look I did with the, um, what the heck was it? The, oh, the Game of Cones. The Game of Cones palette. That's the one I've been trying to redo, and I can't. I don't know how I did it. I'm going to have to actually go back and watch my own video. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch my own video and go back. Anyway, I'm going to go into this. I've been loving this. If you haven't seen this, this is the Snow Angel palette from Dose of Color. I like these little palettes. One of my favorite ones is the the mauves. You, it's it's either one of those you love or you hate. But um, if you guys notice, I am really big on I this like a mauvey kind of transition color. I don't know why. It's just that's my favorite transition color. Is a kind of mauvey, plummy, purpley kind of color. This is like the perfect one for me right there. I love how that looks. Now, I'm just going to run some errands today. I know you guys uh, you guys <laughs> must think, this girl's always running errands and she's always putting makeup on. You know, but I do, I do some freelance 
makeup some. I don't do a lot. I do a few weddings here and there. Um, I actually have a big wedding coming up. Um, kind of disappointed, you know, uh, I haven't heard from, you guys have been asking me also about Glamorous Beauty. I haven't heard from her. I've talked to her once in about the last almost three weeks, probably two and a half weeks. I don't know what's going on with her. I hope she's okay. I know her sister was doing better. Her sister was home from the hospital and back, you know, up and at it. Um, she started a new job. I believe, I think it's the same place her sister works. I'm pretty sure that it's the same place somebody works. I think it was her sister. But um, I know she was trying to work on that. She, she was talking about getting a a um, building for outside that she can do her makeup in because her husband, it, it's hard to, you know, I don't want to put every, anybody's laundry out there. But, you know, it's hard when you have children and you're trying to run a household and, you know, she has a few kids and it's not like she can block off a room just for makeup. So she shares, you know, she sets everything up, takes it down, sets everything and takes it down. And I, God, I feel for her because I couldn't imagine doing that. I couldn't do it. I just could not do it. So, anyway... But that's the last I heard from her. I hope she's okay. She had to get a new phone, I know. She's She, she gets kind of frantic sometimes. She drops a couple of phones, but I think we all have, so. Anyway, keep her in your thoughts and prayers. I hope I, hope I hear from her soon. I mean, I am worried about her. But, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. I can't, I can't really speak on it, but uh, I hope she's okay. Anyway... Back to what we were doing. Um, not really sure what I want to put on my lid. I kind of wanted to put... I separated all my liquid. These are all my, like, Stila-type, you know, magnificent metal-type. Anything like these kind of things that can go in your lid. I separated all those. You know what? I think... I'm going to put some silver on there today, I think. Should I put silver or... Hmm, I don't know. I even got the color pop ones in here. I've got the uh, the new Huda Beauty. I've seen a lot of things about Huda, the Huda Beauty, and I hate people talk highly about this. This is the Kylie one. This thing is a chunky, godforsaken mess. But you know what? Everybody, I guess everybody uses stuff differently, and everything works differently on everybody. So I mean, it's. It is what it is. It's whatever you like. So, what I like, somebody else might not. This is the Color FX. This is in Celestial. These are the Shimmer Veils. These are so pretty. These are kind of like, they're not really a... Wow, why is that not... I got this little set that had the three minis in it. I think I got it from Sephora. See, they're little like that, and you kind of... You just kind of brush them on. They're very easy to brush on. I can't really see, see what I'm doing here, but it's okay. I like them because you can shear this out or you can, you know, build it up. I like it sheared out because I don't like things real heavy on my eyelids. And that's mainly because I have hooded lids and everything winds up clumped together everywhere. So, but these are very pretty. They're like a... Um, they're like, they're not like a foil. They're not like a glitter. They're kind of in between. A shimmer is a perfect name for it. They're like a, um, this one is kind of dried out. I am going to have to contact Sephora. It's not really going on as well as I thought. This was one of their sets of three minis they had on sale. I think it was $25. They had this on sale for, and I got this when I got, I got my $100 uh, gift certificate, so I went crazy. I actually got, I got this, and I got basically the Fenty uh, face line, what I had used in that video. Um, if you guys haven't watched that video on the Fenty, Fenty face, as I called it, on mature skin, please go watch it. Even if you don't have uh, mature skin, take a minute to watch it. Just, um, I'm so proud of how it came out because it is, it is not easy 
working with mature skin all the time. And believe me, I have tons of it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just kind of tap over that. Just to make sure it's really... I don't like it chunky at all. And I like to make sure it dries down before I blink too much. Because my eyes are very hooded and it will transfer. There we go. But I don't want to wind up with little spaces in between it. I feel like this side's a little heavier. That's all right. I'm going to run errands, not to a beauty pageant. That would be a scary thing if I was, because I'm not, I'm not the beauty pageant type, guys, at all. Now, what should I put in my waterline? I love putting stuff in my waterline. I just do. You know, I've really been, I've really been loving this, um, this eyeliner. I've used it a couple times. This is the new, um one from uh, Benefit and it you know what let me hold that thought I'm going to grab I want to darken my crease just a tiny bit more I'm going to use this little flat brush what is this thing oh this is that 456 this is the one added the um, James Charles set and the I'm going to go ahead and use the the bronzer that I used and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use it to kind of Bring a little more, there we go, more dimension right here. That is working perfect with that color. Perfect. There we go. You know, don't be afraid to grab some bronzer. Grab some lipstick, you know, grab whatever and try it out. Try different things. You know, you'll never learn what you like. You'll never learn what works and what doesn't if you don't try it you know if it doesn't look good if you don't like it there's always makeup wipes there's always soap and water you know and you know the one thing too I've been wanting to talk about is just because a product's been out for say a year doesn't mean it's not any good doesn't mean that it's not it's not a great product. Doesn't mean it won't look wonderful on you and you could wear it every day. Or, you know, you can make a new look, old look, whatever you want with it. But it's really getting old hearing these, you know, it's like, I'm going to start pulling out once a week. We're going to do a kind of throwback video and I'm going to let you guys decide what palette I'm going to use to um, do the look. And matter of fact, on this video, you guys, down below, comment what video, what older palette would you like me to see? Would you like to see me do a new eyeshadow look with? Now, um, pick anything. I mean, um, if I don't have it, I'll get it. <laughs> and I will take the, whoever, if you see one that's already been commented on that you like, go ahead and hit, give it a, you know, give it a like. And we'll, we'll just start doing that. I want to start getting you guys more involved in my channel. More involved in, you know, having fun and having, you know, let's, let's, let's do something different, you know. I'm going to put this in my waterline. This is 3D Orchid from Smashbox. The color I have been looking for, and oh gosh, I dropped it. So I guess, oh no, I didn't. I am looking for this one here. This is called Royal. See the difference? I am looking for this one. Mine's gone. It's empty. But I cannot find it. But I did discover that this color, Orchid, it's kind of a plummy kind of purple. It's not like, I like the more bluey purples. But that matches that color that I put in my crease almost perfectly. That kind of mauvey purpley. See, it almost, it's almost the exact same color, just, I mean, darker and, of course, an eyeliner. I'm going to throw that in my waterline. Now, I like to do the outer corner of my waterline a little darker than the inside, if you ever notice that. And I kind of work it down into my lashes to kind of smoke it out a, just a little bit, just to give it, so you give my eye a little frame right there. I like to just really get it in there. And what I do is I'll put it in my waterline and then I'll come down here 
into my lashes and just work it into my lashes. Makes my lashes kind of a, a mess, but I like how it looks and that's all that matters. I did finally open this guy up and start using it. There's some purple on this, but that's okay. I do like to take this. What is this? This is a crown of C527 little tiny, tiny pencil brush. And it's great for getting up there where I put that, um, that eyeliner. I can really get where I, that eyeliner is right there and just really kind of work it in. Let's see, right there. And kind of pull it up to that corner. Now, at this point, I can either go ahead and just leave it the way it is, or I can go and put something across the top. I want to take, and I've, I've been loving this. I don't know, it's pouring down rain. It's like so scared when it rains. It's like everything's going to be all in my face. But I've been liking this guy. This is the, um, I need a better mirror too. And I can really see what I'm doing. Here we go. We'll use this back a lot. I'm going to go ahead and run this right across the top. I like it because it's so stinking tiny. See how easy that is? I just lay it down and then slowly work it over. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, if it's the same thickness all over. I'm not going to do a wing. I'm just running this right at the last line. It just really helps see to frame that eye a little better. Yeah, and uh, my eyes have been irritated today, so I didn't want to tight line them, but it just looks so much better. You can even tight line with this. I like to go right down in to the end right here and make sure to get that last little bit of corner right there and kind of work it into my lashes. I'm not going to tight line all the way across. I just did kind of the outer corners. See, my eyes are already irritated. But this thing is amazing, and I'm going to pick it up in a full size. And I also want to pick up the brown. I noticed they did not have that in. Um, they haven't so far the other day, and I was like really disappointed. Um, oh, I was cleaning up my makeup room the other day, and I forgot that I got this. This is the... Um, Kylie Cosmetics, and it is the color in in with the new. These are the ones she came out with for kind of New Year's. The metallic -y one. Wow, that looks totally different online. That looks totally different on camera. It's more pinky mauve in person, and it looks more like brown kind of in that. But I'm going to try this out. So yeah, even the... Even the pencil they give you is real pink. See, it's real pink, the pencil they give you. Little trick, if you want to overline your lips and you don't want somebody to really notice it, use as close to the color of your natural lips as you can. Make sure it's as close to also of the lipstick color you're using or lighter. Don't ever go darker. And you want to lay it down. I like to lay it down right at the line. And just kind of... I use that little tip, that how far out that is. See, to kind of judge how far out I go. Because I will actually lay it flat. I use the side. You can see how my pencil is bent. I use the side of that pencil to really get on there. I don't know, is this more of, I don't know, is this like gloss? No, it says one coat and top off. Wait, for best results, fill in your lips with a lip liner, then top off with one coat. It says it's a matte liner, so we'll find out. And it says one coat. For best results, one coat. Let's try it. Yeah, you can't do that in one coat. There's no way.
There was no way you could do that one coat. It took me two because I had to get it even. You want it even. Now, they say that because you don't want to you don't want to cake it on there. But what I do instead of just trying to be careful and use one coat, I will go in and just lightly run the excess off. See it picked that excess off. Yes, my fingernail is still broken. Yeah, I broke it way way down there and it's got a little scab still there and i'm funny i like i like to make sure they heal because they hurt and i don't like to hurt anyway guys that's it i'm not well yeah i better wear some mascara i can't find the mascara i want to wear i bought a it was a waterproof moisture big and i've never found it since i bought it it mo makes me wonder if it fell out of the bag or something. You know, and it's... I can't find it. I don't know where it went. So, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. I'm just going to do my top lashes. This is the Lancome, the uh, Hypnosis Drama. I'm just going to run this quickly. Just a quick little... I say one... One coat, but this isn't even one coat. Well, some people would call that a coat. Some people would call that, like, I call it a coat. I call that a coat. Some people don't even call that a coat, but I love how this makes your eye, your lashes real wispy. Mine don't curl. Mine are so flat. I have to, like, eh, try to make them go up. I tried to curl them. It's more of a headache than anything. Um, the only time they will ever actually stick is if, like now, I get I get mascara on them and then go ahead and take the lash curler and give them a little squish. See? And they don't really do anything. I tried them dry, tried them wet, tried them with different, you know... Uh, mascaras. I've tried everything under the sun, and my lashes, my lashes don't, don't like to stand up. So, I kind of gave up on them. And, um, I don't wear falsies, because if you notice, everybody you see wear falsies, they always wear them. You won't ever see them go out without falsies if they're, like, going somewhere and they want to look like they have lashes. Because it makes you, when you wear false lashes, it destroys your natural lashes and it takes so long for them to come back. I've worn false lashes a couple times and every time I did, I'd take them off and it, within the next few days I lost, I, I would lose four or five. I'd see them right along here all the time and I just, I gave up. But you know, everybody, to each their own, you do what you want, I do what I want and um, just remember that Beauty does not wash off. Only makeup does. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Sorry. I didn't realize this I, This took so darn long. But you know how it is. We get chit-chatting and that's how it is. But I will see you later. Bye.